Mr. Riley, I was thinking that after scene three, Cassandra could, uh... Damn. He's dead. What's up, man? What's going on? Ah, uh, I kind of have my boss lying right next to me, and, uh, yeah, he's dead. Dude, you're sick. Seriously, what's up, buddy? Um, I'm serious? He fell or something. Oh, that sounds pretty serious, man. Yeah, I said that. Just please, come here. Like now? Yes, like now? <laughs> Gross. I mean, 25 years isn't that long. You'd probably get out for, like, good behavior or something. But I didn't kill him, dude. <clears throat> That's good. Really convincing. But I didn't kill him, dude. How am I now supposed to be a Hollywood director? He's, he was going to be my ticket in. Bummer. Wait, you did puppetry in college, right? Yeah, it picked up a lot of chicks. Yeah. Maybe we could maneuver him around, use some of your puppetry skills. <laughs> what about his voice? I have an idea. He used to leave me recordings on my phone to uh, tell me what to do every day. A turkey sandwich, the kind from that one place I like. And only an idiot could mess this up. Don't mess it up. And don't forget the side of pickles and extra mustard. Perfect. Sir, I'm a, his assistant. Uh, I'm his assistant, I mean, uh, his body. All right then, but don't get too close to him unless you want to get slapped. And don't forget the side of pickles and extra mustard. That's how he says action. So I have two possible costume choices for the part of Cassandra. Never mind, I have lunch with my wife. Forget the extra pickle. Make a reservation for- Excuse me? Wherever my wife sits. Okay, sir, should I call her? No, don't be a complete idiot. You too. So, well, I, I think the first one's better because it embodies the nature of the character. Well, that's my wife. Call the Italian place. She likes the Italian place. The Italian place? Italian place. Like Italian food. Um, Italian food is like Italian clothes and they're both good. All of them. They're all good. So Italian clothes, costumes, the Italian one. Look at me. I love you, Jeremy, but I'm not sure if I'm in love with you. I never liked you, but I'll always love you. Stand up and storm away. Oh, oopsie, that was my stage direction. My bad. Hi, Mr. O'Reilly. Make sure that Cassandra trick knows the lines. My character's name is Cassandra, my name is Cookie. Otherwise, she's useless to me, just like my cold witch of a wife. You slap me! Take inspiration for the pain. Cassandra's in pain. Thanks, boss. You're such a great director. That way she can have lunch by herself. Because Cassandra is in pain. Pain and lonely. Lonely and in pain. And then she says, oh, Kevin, I wish to love you, but my heart will always be with Jeremy. Close up on a Cassandra and Jeremy kiss, concluding love is a four-letter word, part two. Um, any questions for the writer, Mr. O'Reilly? Is he dead? Has he been dead this entire time? Jacob, meet us in the studio immediately. God. Should we, like, take him or something? I don't know how much good that would do. Yeah, he kind of stinks too. 
What the hell? A man is dead and you're using that to your advantage? No, 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 no. it's not what you think. Yes, it is. We hired Dylan O'Reilly, not Jacob Nobody. You thought that we would not notice that you wasted millions of dollars of the studio's money? At least let me play the movie. And why would we do that? We might as well. What could it hurt? Pain. Inspiration. Take inspiration from the pain. Thanks, Voss. You're such a great director. That was she can have lunch by herself. Cut. That was a wrap. <laughs>